I spotlight a new channel today. Was it yours? After we talk about the new Facebook video that will soon be monetized, where Facebook will share revenue with you, just like YouTube does. Currently, you don't get any money on Facebook, but that will change. In yesterday's video, we talked all about Facebook video. Didn't see it? Click that I to learn all about how Facebook video looks and how to upload to your channel. Today, I wanted to ask you, we already have a daily motion uploader where you can take all your YouTube videos from your channel to daily motion, your new channel with just a few clicks. So there's no manual re-uploading process. Didn't know we have that? Well, just head on over to dashboard.tm to see it. Do you think we should do the same for Facebook? Should we create a synchronization tool that'll take all your YouTube videos and upload them to your Facebook page with just a few clicks? Tell me in the comments below. For those of you who are already uploading to Facebook, good on you! How many of you are using a tool to upload or are you manually re-uploading the same video? I personally am re-uploading the same video. I'm not using a tool. But I'm curious, you Freedom Family, have you found a tool or should we build one? Also, did you know that not only Facebook but Twitch will soon offer video on demand where you can upload videos to Twitch just like you can to YouTube. And we have a deal with Tokoboka which will allow you to upload kids content to a mobile platform to earn new revenue. And we have a few more platforms just waiting to get announced. This is all in our effort to help you grow faster by giving you more revenue streams so the same content you produce can make you more money when it's spread across multiple platforms. Are there any other platforms you want us to support so that you can get revenue from the videos you make? Tell us down there in the comments below. You know the drill. Today we are spotlighting a new channel and we're going to talk about it right now. I saw a comment in yesterday's video by East Out who said, why hello there. I thought I would post this comment since you said you were doing a content channel spotlight. Yes we are, in every single episode of The George Show now. That's our new format. So he created a very unique kind of video. East Out made a short film. Let me show you. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's going good. How about you? I'm doing pretty good. You want some coffee? Hello. I love some, man. Thanks for coming. I'm just going to skip ahead to show some of the more exciting parts to motivate you to want to watch this yourself. What the hell? Thank you, bike. It has a very surprising ending. I encourage you to watch it. Click that eye up there to see the full video. And I would like to look at your channel to give you a channel review. Currently you have 180 subscribers. Let's take a look at your channel trailer. It's a little late for a video, isn't it? Uh, so good though. The coffee, oh, it's oh, to die for. Well, not, maybe, maybe not die, but uh, it's good, it's good. Not coffee, Amazing but it's coffee. It's a drink. It is 9:30 at night. I don't know if I don't know if I mentioned that. Why, hello once again, you, the person watching this video. Welcome back to this wonderful thing I like to do, which is talking to myself in a closet. Well, actually, so the first instant feedback is: 30 seconds have gone by. You have not caught my attention at all because you haven't said anything about your channel. I see that you're leading up to something perhaps funny or something amazing, but if you haven't done anything to catch my interest after 10 seconds, I'm probably not going to watch the rest of your trailer, so I won't see that cool stuff that's probably coming. My suggestion is redo the trailer so it really shows the best moments of your channel, what it is about in the first 10 seconds, and then go into perhaps a little more of the dramatic presentation like you've done here. Let's look at the rest of your channel. Do you, do you use playlists to organize your content? 
Well, you only have three playlists, uploads, popular videos, and created playlists. So the answer is no. I suggest create a playlist for every category of content on your homepage so new users, new visitors, can find what they're looking for very quickly. Like, for example, why don't you have a Fallout 3 playlist on your homepage? I can see that you're creating a Fallout 3 series, and I think that would be great to advertise on the front page. You also have a Halo 5 series, Call of Duty. These can all be separate playlists. And looking at your thumbnails, you have the exact same image of you pointing, which is good. It, it's a great image, but I would encourage you to change it up. Don't have the exact same pose in every single thumbnail. It gets boring seeing you in that one pose in every single thumbnail, don't you think? But it is a great thumbnail, very clear. Uh, I can see exactly what each video is about just by looking at the graphic. And let's watch one of your latest videos from Fallout 3. All right, hello once again. Here we are continuing some more Fallout 3. Last episode, I was, uh, I, I think I finished putting everything away in this place. Uh, I just got back from playing some... So first question, why don't you use YouTube cards to link to the last episode? You just mentioned the last episode, but it would be really cool if I could see it right here so I could click it in case I missed it so I don't have to go to your channel, look for the previous episode. It's shown right in the YouTube card. Freaking Wolfenstein, that game is so hard. Wolfenstein the Old Blood. Oh man, but it, it's it's good. It's a good game, but it's difficult. And I, you know, I, I... Very clear commentary. Very high quality audio. But I can't hear the game. I would like to hear the gameplay in the background, either the game music or some of the sound effects. Because right now it just feels like a silent movie. So that's another one of my suggestions, is to let the gameplay audio come into the video but not to compete with your voice, but just to have it there so we can hear it. I hope this helps, and tell me in the comments below what you think of this channel. It is East Out, and the link will be right there. <laughs> that I will take you to the channel. Next comment is by Steven Van. Steven Van said, I remember getting a shout out from the Freedom Channel Spotlight a couple months into my channel. It helped jumpstart my channel. And I was wondering if I could get a channel spotlight to show the rest of the Freedom family how far hard work can take you. All right, Steven Van, let's have a look. You have 17,000 subscribers. Holy cow. How many subscribers did you have when you first got featured on the Freedom Channel Spotlight? Tell us in the comments below. Hello guys, Steven here back with another video. And Hi, today Steven. I'm going to be showing you guys my five favorite non-copyrighted songs to use in my videos. I use this in my tutorials as well as my vlogs on Van Films. So in case you guys were wondering what background music I use, here are a couple of them. And before I get started with the video, I'm sorry for the lack of uploads. Okay, so I can see you are using cards, which is great. And you are also doing <laughs> a poll. Have you liked this video yet? Yes, Donald Trump. No, We're going to do that right now, Kanye West. I'm a little confused. Why would Donald Trump or Kanye West be an option to have I like this video yet? So that's great that you're using cards. And the introduction video doesn't feel like an introduction to your channel. It feels like one of your many regular videos. So I would encourage you, Stephen, to create a specific channel trailer introducing this channel and not have it sound like a regular video. And it was up uploaded three days ago, so it, it is a regular video. Let's have a look at your thumbnails. So, in your thumbnails, I see you have playlists for Team Van, tutorials, technology, commentaries. This is fantastic. This is exactly what every one of 
you who are watching this video should be doing, go to your channel and make sure you have a playlist for every category of content that is on your channel. Let's have a look at your videos. And in your videos, I can see your thumbnails. There's a lot of variety of thumbnails. You have very clear text in the thumbnail, making it so obvious. If I wanna see the YouTuber giveaway video, I can click that. Wow, very well done. I can see why you have 17,000 subscribers, Stephen. My only suggestion would be to work on the channel trailer. Let's have a look at one of your videos. How to make clean professional thumbnails. For about 500 likes Hello yet. Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can make a very clean and professional looking thumbnail on Photoshop. So to start it all off just press very important. Um, let's just take this one and just align horizontal centers and I'll just align. Okay, so the first obvious suggestion I would make is don't show this, please. It looks so tacky. It gets in the way of your video. I just can't wait till I can click the X. Don't show those types of things annotations in videos because they're like the old style. Right now we should only be using this YouTube card feature because it works on mobile. These do not work on mobile and or at least clicking them don't work on mobile and this should be a YouTube card not an annotation covering a portion of your video. Otherwise the video has very clear audio. You're doing a good job presenting the concept, very clear title, and the video got over 5,000 views, so a lot of people enjoyed this, how to make clean professional thumbnails for YouTube. Well done, Stephen Van. So originally, he just wanted us to point out that how far hard work can take you. So Stephen, tell us a little bit about the hard work you put in. How much time do you spend on your channels? How many videos do you upload every week? Tell us down there in the comments below so we can all see how you've grown so we can be motivated to grow the same way. Because, say it with me, that is the spirit of freedom. We all help each other grow together as a family. The Freedom Family. <laughs> and who am I? I am George. CEO and founder of this beautiful family called Freedom, aka George Sunpai, Papa George, and even Jerry Maguire. Thank you for watching. I am George, and you've been watching. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. So grow with us and partner with Freedom. That play now button right there on the video bar is all you need to click to get started.